uh, three types the on the basis of the formation on the basis of formation you can have three types of rock you can have igneous rocks you can have sedimentary rocks and you can have metamorphic rocks so you have igneous rock sedimentary rock metamorphic rocks if i talk about igneous rocks igneous means fire it has been uh, it has been formed because of the cooling and solidification of the magma the magma solidifies and cools that will give you igneous rocks it can be formed within the earth's crust or above the earth's crust so this if for example if this is my layer of the earth that i'm doing here this goes up to 6400 km you have a crust layer okay this goes up to let's say a 30 to 60 km this is your mantle this is your outer core and you have inner core humne rocks dekhe the igneous rocks are formed because of the cooling and solidification of magma where is magma coming from magma is coming from your mantle from the mantle the magma comes the magma can solidify within the crust or it can solidify above the crust so this is also your igneous rocks this is also your igneous rocks the igneous rocks that is solidification above the crust is called as extrusive igneous rocks the rocks that solidifies within the crust is called as intrusive igneous rocks theek okay? hai so there can be two types of igneous rocks one is extrusive igneous rocks and the other is the intrusive igneous rocks on the base on the basis of location on the basis of location there can be these types of igneous rocks if i talk about uh, rocks rocks on the basis of formation are of a uh, three type igneous sedimentary and metamorphic igneous has been formed because of the solidification and the cooling of magma or the lava sedimentary rocks have been formed because of the sediments coming up together the sediments they come up together as the sediments they come up together they can they are layered as they are layered they can have pressure once they have pressure they can solidify into various layers forming your sedimentary rock so sediments coming up together there is compaction there is solidification there is lithification lithification is formation of rocks so you'll have the sedimentary rocks example sandstone the sands sand particles coming up together compacting coming together forming the sandstone so this can be an example of the sandstone sedimentary rock it is quite possible that the igneous rock as well as sedimentary rock they can change and become a new rock per se they can change under temperature or under pressure and they can become a new rock sedimentary rock under extreme temperature and pressure it can become a new rock what is that rock called as metamorphic rock example granite changes into gneiss theek hai not shale granite changes into gneiss theek hai you have limestone which is a set granite was what igneous rock under pressure and temperature change it can become gneiss you can have limestone this is a sedimentary rock limestone under temperature and pressure change can become a new rock called as marble so limestone can change into marble granite can change into gneiss sandstone can change and become a new rock called as schist so sandstone which is a sedimentary rock can change under extreme temperature and pressure and become a new rock called as schist so this is basically the classification of the rock we were at the first rock that is your igneous rocks that is igneous rock is formed by because of cooling and solidification of the magma it can cool inside the crust it can cool outside the crust when it cools outside the crust it is called as extrusive igneous rocks when it cools inside the crust it is called as intrusive igneous rocks an example of intrusive igneous rocks are granite gabbro or diorite and the uh, example of extrusive igneous rocks can be basalt and andesite i can classify igneous rocks into various types one i said we all understood this what is rock what is igneous rock what is sedimentary what is metamorphic and i said igneous rocks i can further classify into on the basis of location kaha ban rahe are they forming intrusive inside the crust or are they forming on the outside the crust i can again classify igneous rocks on the basis of the silica content whether it is a acidic rock or it is a basic rock if you have more of silica it will be acidic if you have less of silica it will be basic what does silica do see all of them are forming from what from the magma coming 
if it has more of silica the magma is not very flowing is not very fluid if it has more of silica if it has less of silica the magma becomes very flowing what i'm trying to say here so depending on silica whether it has more silica or it has less silica if there is less of silica it is the nature of magma to flow if it is less silica the magma can uh, flow okay and if it has more of silica magma will not flow magma will be more viscous magma will be more uh, sticky in nature it will be more viscous and more sticky in nature okay so you can have different type of igneous rocks depending on the silica content if there is high silica content what kind of rock will you have you will have more of the acidic rock an example of the acidic rock can be granite an example of the acidic rock can be a granite so this more silica has acidic rock it can be a granite the less silica has more flowing more basic rock called as basalt theek hai to ye silica ke basis pe bhi aap igneous rock ko classify kar sakte you can also classify igneous rocks on the basis of the crystal structure fine crystal or large crystal so something which is inside which is cooling inside will take time to cool as it takes time to cool it can crystallize in a better manner it can crystallize in the better manner and therefore what you have if you have crystalline you can have large crystals you can have fine crystal large crystals are formed generally in the intrusive rocks fine crystals are generally seen in the extrusive rocks example kya hai basalt example kya hai granite theek hai so we've done i believe this right what are what are rocks what are what is igneous rock how is it formed what are the types of igneous rocks i believe this is done for you i think you have not written this slide about the silica content whether it is a flowing magma or a viscous magma theek hai so you can write in case you feel like okay fine online class in case you have any doubt i am keeping a my eyes on the chat you can ask me on the chat itself so that you feel you are a part of uh, the class now what do you have to write please write if magma has more silica if magma has more silica then the magma is viscous then the mass magma is viscous v i s c o u s viscous and sticky magma is viscous and sticky where uh, example granitic granitic magma theek hai when magma is when when the magma has less silica when the magma has less silica magma is flowing in nature magma is flowing in nature i'm just developing a link here now suppose this is a magma chamber theek hai suppose this is a magma chamber and suppose this is another magma chamber from the magma chamber you have a conduit or you have a pipe you have a conduit you have a pipe you have silica that is you have magma that is coming up you have magma that is coming up this is the surface now suppose this this one this magma has more of silica silica is more this magma has less silica silica is less when there is more of silica the magma is very very sticky very very pasty it is viscous in nature and when it has less of silica it is more a uh, flowy in nature it is more a uh, flowy in nature so my question to use this is a this is b which magma do you think will form volcanic peaks and which magma you think will form plateaus a will form a will form how many believe a will form plateaus 
How many believe A will form plateaus? And how many believe A will form volcanic peaks? And B will form plateaus. Something that is more flowy, right? The magma will flow. As it will flow, what will it form? It will form plateaus. Volcanic plateaus. Something which is more sticky. It cannot flow easily. It will form volcanic peaks. Samaj aare? Sticky hai na? Is it sticky? It's not flowing. It will just accumulate here. Something that is flowing will form bigger landforms, larger landforms. Right? So, this is something you will study in volcanism also. But just a link here. Okay? So, what are we saying? We are saying igneous rock. Igneous rock has been formed because of the cooling and solidification of magma. There are three types of igneous rocks. Moving on, just write the importance of igneous rocks. We have already written some of this, but you can write the importance of igneous rocks. They are resistant. They are resistant to weathering and erosion. They are resistant to weathering and erosion. As compared to as compared to sedimentary rocks. As compared to sedimentary rocks. See, why do plateaus? They form their highlands. Plateaus are also called as Highlands, because they are formed of igneous rocks. As they are formed of igneous rock, they are resistant to erosion. It is very difficult that the whole plateau will get eroded. So, they form the highlands. But as compared to that, let us say plain. The plain areas, if they have sedimentary rock, they can erode faster. Right. They are, they are, first one, they are resistant to weathering and erosion. Second, they are used in, they are used in skin aid and dental aids. They are used in skin aid and dental aid. Example, pumice. Example, pumice. This is pumice stone that is used for skin care, pedicure, and all. Okay? Ghar pe bhi hota hai. Ram patthar. Maine kuch kalat baat to nahi boli. Ram patthar hai. Okay? So you have. They are used in dental care and the skin care. They are used as soil conditioners. They are used as soil conditioner for conditioning of the soil, for increasing the fertility and the nutrients of the Soil. So, they are used as the soil conditioners. Fine. This is about your igneous rock. Write about, write about the sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks. You can see here. You can see here. This is the land. This is your water. Okay. Any place could, it could have been land bhi ho sakta tha. Yahan se sediments are hai. The sediments are coming together. The sediments are, you know, sediments are coming at one place. Over this one layer, brown layer, there is another layer of sediments that is coming, yellow. Over the yellow, there is another sediment layer that is coming. Then again, sediments layer. So, there is layering of the sediments that is happening. One sediment layer, second sediment layer, third sediment layer, fourth sediment layer. Over the time, this can compress. They can come together. Compaction hoga, compression hoga, and then they can become what? They can become one. Rock. So, how is sediment formed? Sedimentation. Sedimentation. You have compaction. You have lithific lithification. Lithification is when it has become a rock. So, sedimentation, compaction, and lithification is the process by which your sedimentary rock is formed. So, write about sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock. They are formed because of. They are formed because of. Deposition of the fragments. Deposition of the fragments of the rocks. Deposition of the sediments or the fragments of the rocks by exogenous processes. By exogenous processes. Okay. Exogenous process means a exogenic agent. A exogenic agent is a river, a glacier, desert winds. They can erode the rock. They can reduce the frag they, they can reduce the rock to fragments and they can form the sediments. Okay. So they are formed because of the exogenic process, because of the sediments from the rock. Stages are the stages involved are the stages involved are Diana Pelin answer submit correct. The stages involved are weathering, weathering, 
comma all of you understand what is weathering breaking down of rocks weathering comma transportation and deposition of sediments transportation and deposition of sediments compaction of the sediments ठीक है कंपैक्ट ऑल ऑफ देम आर कमिंग टुगेदर सिमेंटेशन दैट इज सिमेंटेशन एंड बाइंडिंग ऑफ रॉक बाइंडिंग ऑफ द पार्टिकल्स एंड लिथी फैक्शन लिथी फैक्शन ओके सो नाउ हाउ आर दे फॉर्म दे आर फॉर्म बिकॉज ऑफ द सेडिमेंटेशन there firstly erosion weathering sedimentation compaction se, uh, se, uh, compaction and lithification that they have come cement ho gaya and then they have become they have become a rock now if this is the way they are formed what would be the characteristics of this rock can it have fossils any fossil that was trapped suppose this fossil was trapped here we can have the fossils can it be layered This is a layer. You can remove the layers of the sediments. What is happened? Sediments were together, just got compacted and cemented. No, I can remove the layers, so they are layered. They can have fossils, right? Echo. The characteristics are. The characteristics are. They are layered. I have fossils. They have fast fossils. and they are not crystalline in nature they are not crystalline in nature there is no internal arrangement that is taking place okay they are just cemented and compacted they are not crystalline in nature example sandstone limestone jitne bhi stones wale ho sandstone limestone clay chalk ठीक है तो दिस इज अबाउट योर सेडिमेंट्री रॉक हाउ कैन दे बी फॉर्म दे कैन बी फॉर्म नाउ हाउ आज हाउ इज सेडिमेंट्री रॉक फॉर्म सेडिमेंट्री रॉक इज बिकॉज ऑफ द प्रोसेस दैट वी सीन दे कैन बी मैकेनिकली टुगेदर सम मैकेनिज्म जैसे हमने अभी वाला देखा दिस इज अ मैकेनिकली रॉक दे जस्ट कम टुगेदर एंड दे आर मैकेनिकली अरेंज दे कैन बी मैकेनिकली फॉर्म दे कैन ऑल्सो बी ऑर्गेनिकली फॉर्म लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑर्गेनिज्म कमिंग अप टूगेदर सिक्रीटिंग सम सेडिमेंट्स these sediments coming up together cementing and forming the lithification lithification and forming the rock sediments are sediments sediments kaha se some organism gave the sediments like for example coral reefs okay you can have calcium carbon you have calcium carbonates from them the calcium carbonate sediments they are coming together their lithification there is they are coming they are compacting cementation and then lithification aur aapka ban gaya limestone aapka limestone ban gaya ha huh? नहीं प्रेशर रहेगा मैकेनिकल तो रहेगा ही बट आया कहाँ से वेर डिड दैट कैल्शियम कम फ्रॉम दी कम फ्रॉम दी कैल्शियम कार्बोनेट शेल्स सो देर विल बी मैकेनिक मैकेनिज्म तो होगा तभी ही तो ये बनेगा बट देन वेर इज द ओरिजिन द ओरिजिन इज योर सम ऑर्गेनिज्म सो दे कैन बी दे कैन बी मैकेनिकली फॉर्म दे कैन बी ऑर्गेनिकली फॉर्म और दे कैन ऑल्सो बी केमिकली फॉर्म सम केमिकल रिएक्शन देर आर सेडिमेंट्स एज सेडिमेंट्स देन कंपैक्शन देन लिथिफिकेशन एंड देन you have the sedimentary rocks so there are three modes of formation there can be three modes of formation three modes of formation mechanically formed organically formed and chemically formed mechanically formed can be sandstone limestone shale shale is also a sand, uh, your sedimentary rock shale s h a l e shale you know loess l o e s s loess is also form of sedimentary rock theek okay? hai these are mechanically formed the second is organically formed when some organism is playing an important role like for example coal 
how is cold form there was there was decomposition anaerobic decomposition of the forest the anaerobic decomposition of the forest forest came they submerged there was anaerobic decomposition and then you have the cold forming so this is this an igneous rocks no is this is a metamorphic rock no sediments are coming together they are compacting they are liquefying but where is the how has been the source the source has been the vegetation source has been some organism so that is why organically formed example coal example limestone chalk limestone tino mein dikhega limestone can be formed because of mechanism mechanically or mechanically formed it can be formed because of some organism it can also be because of some chemical reaction so chemically formed so you have organically formed like limestone the third one is chemically formed chemically formed are limestone you have halite and potash halite and potash these are names of the rocks theek hai halite rock potash rock ye chemical change ho raha hai chemical reactions ho rahe hai uske karan aapke ye rocks ban rahe hai theek hai why am i telling you these names because it is quite possible that in your prelims examination they can just tell you which of the following is a this rock well they will give you one statement and they will see uh, when i talk about mcq formation theek hai you can same questions you can have a simple one you can have a difficult one a simple one would be which of the following is which of the following is a sedimentary rock theek hai you can say uh, one a uh, shale second sandstone theek hai then it is granite you know it is not 3 1 and 2 it is a simple one you can also have like with respect to the sedimentary rocks consider the following statements first chert halite potash limestone they are sedimentary rocks first statement sedimentary rocks are non crystalline sedimentary rocks is found in so and so region so you can have a difficult mcq you can have a easy mcq and this also will become easy or difficult depending on what are the options given are you given 1 2 2 and 3 1 2 or 3 or you are just given which of the following are correct one only two only three only or none of the above so it is the options that you make mcq difficult one you know that you've seen in your prelims paper also the second is the even the statements so yahan pe they will give you some let's say some uncommon example chert halite potash ab bologe suna hi nahi and if i say read ncert i'm not sure how many of you will read so i'm writing examples from the ncert only so that your ncert also gets covered some bit of it chert halite potash one they will just tell you right these are the sedimentary rocks at second they can tell you about some characteristics that sedimentary rocks are crystalline and a fossiliferous in nature is this statement correct they are crystalline and a fossiliferous in nature no both of them are wrong it is non crystalline it is fossiliferous in nature the third statement they can tell you about the sedimentary rocks himalayas are formed from the sedimentary rocks himalayas are formed from the sedimentary rocks is this statement correct are himalayas formed from the sedimentary rocks no himalayas are formed from sedimentary rocks itne vishal parvat jo dikh rahe hain these big 8.8 kilometers they are what they are sedimentary rocks of marine origin okay what are sedimentary rocks of marine origin these are the sedimentary rocks of marine origin see this is water water means uh, ocean water means marine so here such sedimentary rocks which were a marine in origin himalayas have been uplifted by some processes it is also said no himalayas were probably once under the water so they are they are sedimentary rocks of marine origin yes himalayas are made up of sedimentary rocks sedimentary and metamorphic rocks himalayas have igneous rock at the base but the whole of himalayas they are sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks theek hai to rocks samajh lete hain those notes are in class 11th ncert yes these are of class 11th ncert theek hai so you have sedimentary rocks metamorphic rocks uh, write about we've written this how are they formed we've written the types you've seen the examples uh, chalk hai sandstone hai shale hai uh, you have coal that is anthracite coal theek hai that is there theek hai sedimentary rocks these are formed on the, the basis please write about the importance of the sedimentary rock write about the importance of the sedimentary rocks we saw the importance of igneous rocks what is the importance of sedimentary rocks first 
see if sedimentary rocks has fossils if they can have fossil can i know about the past climate using sedimentary rocks dinosaur ka koi fossil mil gaya theek hai koi to aapko dinosaur if you get the fossil of dinosaur you will know that dinosaur was prevalent when dinosaur is prevalent you will see that dinosaur as a species can survive in this climate so you'll get to know the climate also so sedimentary rocks helps us know about the evolution of animals sedimentary rocks helps us know about the past climate also so sedimentary rocks first point they help us understand they help us understand the evolution of animals and climate change they are used in second they are used in construction material building material they are used in construction material example limestone is a raw material for portland cement is a raw material for portland cement third sedimentary rocks have petroleum and natural reservoirs petroleum and natural gas reservoirs Okay now listen if i talk about oil and gas of the world theek okay? hai if i talk about coal how is coal formed coal is also formed because of the denudation because of the decomposition of the plants the plants they went under anaerobic decomposition you have the coal what about so it is an organically formed sedimentary rock what about oil what about natural gas So if you look at oil or natural gas that is formed because of the anaerobic decomposition of the marine organism like vegetation plants formed coal marine organisms like fishes like small microscopic marine organisms the small microscopic uh, uh, some uh, animals that is found in the ocean they underwent underwent decomposition to form the oil and gas now look at here if i talk about this if i talk about this suppose this this the same image here you have a sedimentary rock okay you have the sediments coming up here as the sediments are piling suppose okay suppose as the sediments are coming up together you also have dead organism dead planktons dead fishes coming up you have this one suppose there is another sediment layer that has come again the dead marine organism dead planktons dead fishes coming up then again you have a layer again dead organism coming up so what is happening there would be what anaerobic decomposition without oxygen there would be decomposition of what of the marine organism so what do you find along the coast can i find oil and gas in the sedimentary rocks if i talk about where do you where does india have oil and gas what are the main places where india has oil and gas bombay hi along the coast gujarat kutch region along the coast KG basin along the coast offshore oil fields are here rawa oil field so you have what you have oil and gas why are they formed because of the anaerobic decomposition of the marine organism and where that has taken place in the sedimentary rocks so where you get oil and gas you get oil and gas along the sedimentary rock theek hai ek ek humne padha tha one type of sedimentary rock you studied it was a shale gas shale hai to shale gas so sunte ho sedimentary rock hai shale उसमें एक गैस मिलती है शेल गैस तो कहा मिलता है ऑयल एंड गैस ऑयल एंड गैस आर जनरली फाउंड इन सेडिमेंट्री रॉक्स फाइन सो यू व्हाट आर द इंपॉर्टेंस इट इज यूज्ड इन बिल्डिंग मटेरियल इट इज अ प्लेस वेर यू हैव ऑयल एंड गैसेस राइट एंड द थर्ड वन यू इट इज अबाउट द फॉसिल द एवल्यूशन ऑफ लाइफ दैट हैज टेकन प्लेस ओके सो दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द सेडिमेंट्री रॉक हाउ डू आई क्लोज दिस दिस इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द सेडिमेंट्री रॉक राइट सो now oil and petroleum oil and gas construction and they know they know us about even if you will see world over you will see oil and gas along south china sea along the coast sedimentary rocks pe milta hai north sea again along the coast theek hai 
अबाउट दी अदर करीब गल्फ ऑफ मेक्सिको कैरेबियन सी यू हैव दी ऑयल एंड गैस व्हाट अबाउट असम आई वाज वेटिंग फॉर दैट क्वेश्चन अनुषा होल्ड ऑन फॉर दैट असम में भी मिलता है बट असम में भी देयर हैव बीन सम वाटर दैट हैज वेंट इनटू असम रीजन इट कैन नेवर बी फॉर्मड विदाउट वाटर ट्रांसग्रेशन सम वाटर वेंट इनटू दी रीजन ऑफ असम and in assam there was this anaerobic decomposition along the sedimentary rocks you have digboy region neherkatia region of assam to waha pe bhi pani gaya tha kaise gaya kyun gaya wait for that okay so this is about sedimentary rocks right about the third one metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks okay so the rocks sedimentary rock or igneous rock or any rock that undergoes change because of the temperature and pressure suppose there's lot of heat and there's lot of pressure what will happen there would be internal recrystallization and you will have a different type of rock so when there's lot of pressure lot of temperature the new form of rock is seen that is called as metamorphic rock so kyun dekhte hain why do you uh, where do you see this you will see this sedimentary in himalayas also you have sedimentary rocks and you have मेटामोर्फिक रॉक्स जैसे जिम के पहले आप अलग होते हो और जिम में बहुत प्रेशर पड़ता है तो आप अलग इंसान हो जाते हो आपका शेप चेंज हो जाता है वैसे ही इन रॉक्स के साथ भी कुछ यही हो रहा है समथिंग दिस लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर दिस लॉट ऑफ हीट एंड दिस बिकम एन एंटायरली डिफरेंट रॉक मेटामोरफोसिस बेसिकली दिस इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द वर्ड मेटामोरफोसिस मेटामोरफोसिस मीन चेंज इन दी फॉर्म ठीक है सो प्लीज राइट द मेटामोर्फिक रॉक फर्स्ट द वर्ड इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम द वर्ड मेटामोरफोसिस metamorphosis implying change of the form change of the form theek hai you can say write one line sedimentary rock and igneous rocks sedimentary rock and the igneous rocks when witness extreme change in pressure sedimentary rock and the igneous rocks when witness extreme change in pressure volume and temperature they form igneous rocks they form igneous rocks what i'm saying metamorphic rocks sorry metamorphic rock i'm sorry very sorry they form metamorphic rock what did i say any rock whether igneous rock or sedimentary rock when they undergo change in pressure volume and temperature they will form what they will form metamorphic rock right the processes what are the processes hmm? yes yahan pe bhi layers milegi but yahan ki layers aap separate nahi kar paoge you cannot separate the layers ठीक है लेयर्स वुड बी फॉर्म यू कैन फाइंड देम इन बैंडिंग आपको बैंड्स में दिख सकते हैं ठीक है बट आप इसको लेयर्स से सेपरेट नहीं कर सकते यू कैन नॉट सेपरेट द लेयर्स बिकॉज दिस लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर वॉल्यूम टेम्परेचर चेंज दट हैज टेकिन प्लेस तो इसको बोलते हो बैंडिंग वर्सेस लेयरिंग लेयरिंग इज यू कैन सेपरेट द लेयर्स बैंडिंग इज आई कैन सी द बैंड्स आई कैन सी द लेयर्स बट आई कॉन्ट सेपरेट दम ठीक है राइट अबाउट द प्रोसेसिस द प्रोसेसिस original rocks can undergo crystallization recrystallization original rocks can undergo recrystallization recrystallization and reorganization undergo recrystallization and reorganization to form metamorphic rocks to form metamorphic rocks okay generally you will see metamorphic rocks jahan pe bahut tectonic processes hai when there is lot of tectonic process there suppose the two plates two places they are coming in contact with each other so there is lot of tectonic forces that is happening as there is lot of tectonic forces happening what will happen the rocks here suppose any rock be igneous rock metamorphic uh, be igneous rock sedimentary rock they will undergo what lot of change in pressure volume and temperature so what you will have you will have the metamorphic rock 
so himalayas they have sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock rockies they have sedimentary rock and metamorphic rock and these sedimentary rock and metamorphic rocks so they have metamorphic rocks whenever there is tectonic process that is going on one suppose the second place where you can have when you can see tectonic when you can see metamorphic rock is volcanism if there is volcanism that is taking place suppose this was a sedimentary rock layer there is a volcanism that is taking place what will happen they will undergo some change there would be lot of temperature change as this lot of temperature change it is possible that the rocks here will what they will turn into a metamorphic rock a different kind of rock sedimentary rock tha volcanism hua temperature change hua to ye jo rocks hain ye badal jayenge aur kya ban sakte hain aapke metamorphic rocks ban sakte hain to kahan mil sakte hain you need not write it but listen ki when the these rocks are formed when there is lot of tectonic processes these rocks can be formed when the crust come in with the contact when when the magma comes in contact with the crust the magma that is coming in contact with the crust they can be formed when there is lot of pressure change there is lot of anything so there can be volume change temperature change pressure change okay that will form your metamorphic rock if i talk about types of metamorphism there can be two types of metamorphism one is thermal metamorphism listen all of you i'm saying the types of rocks we've done the rocks igneous rock types of rocks sedimentary rock we've done we're looking at the metamorphic rocks they are formed because of this the igneous rock or the sedimentary rocks undergoing pvt changes pressure volume and temperature changes if it undergoes pressure volume and temperature changes so igneous rocks sedimentary rocks pvt changes gives metamorphic rock if the metamorphic rock is because of temperature change you call this as thermal metamorphism if it is because of pressure change you will call this as the dynamic metamorphism so any change because of the temperature change you call this as thermal metamorphism because of dynamic changes because of pressure changes you called as dynamic metamorphism so write this that the types of metamorphism first dynamic metamorphism dynamic metamorphism the changes in the changes in the rocks the changes in the rocks because of pressure changes pressure changes then you have thermal metamorphism thermal metamorphism the changes in the rock due to thermal mechanism due to thermal mechanism okay now there can be two types of there can be two types of one is one is the uh, pressure change thermal change pressure change is called as dynamic metamorphism thermal change is called as thermal metamorphism temperature change is called as thermal metamorphism in thermal metamorphism there can be two types one can be contact metamorphism bas contact hi hua hai and the other can be your regional metamorphism the whole region gets affected okay so under the thermal metamorphism there are two types of metamorphism under the thermal metamorphism there are two types of metamorphism one as the contact metamorphism and the other as regional metamorphism ठीक है the example that i gave you the example that i gave you so this one suppose this is the sedimentary rock a layer of the sedimentary rock there's just one magma conduit okay there's one magma conduit here the rocks undergo change this is what thermal metamorphism and of what type contact metamorphism suppose the whole region 
the whole region underwent a change. This is possible when, suppose the same one. यहाँ पे आपका ये वाला ये वाला जो स्लैब है ये पूरा स्लैब नीचे चला गया दिस स्लैब इज ट्राइंग टू अंडर गो इज गोइंग डाउन बिकॉज ऑफ सम पुल वॉट विल हैपन यूर इट विल हैव द एंटायर रीजन इज चेंजिंग दिस यू कॉल्ड एज रीजनल मेटम सो वेन अ बिग रीजन इज अफेक्टेड यू कॉल दिस एज रीजनल मेटम ऑफिस वेन अ स्मॉल रीजन इज अफेक्टेड यूल कॉल दिस एज कॉन्टैक्ट मेटम ऑफिस राइट वन लाइन कॉन्टैक्ट मेटोफॉमोर्फिजम Contact metamorphism. What is not visible? Rocks come in contact. In contact metamorphism, right? Rocks come in contact. Rocks come in contact with the intruding magma. With the intruding magma. to undergo recrystallization undergo recrystallization under high temperature under high temperature theek okay. hai rock comes in contact with the hot magma and undergo recrystallization under high temperature this is an example of contact metamorphism ठीक है, जस्ट वन स्मॉल रीजन गेटिंग अफेक्टेड बट इफ अ होल रीजन गेट्स अफेक्टेड अ बिगर रीजन गेटिंग गेट्स गेटिंग अफेक्टेड सपोज दिस इज अ जोन वेर दिस इज सबडक्टिंग देर इज अ सबडक्टिंग रीजन देर इज समथिंग गोइंग डाउन समथिंग दैट गोइंग डाउन द होल रीजन गेट्स अफेक्टेड यू कॉल दिस एज रीजन मिटम ऑफिस यहाँ पे पूरा का पूरा रीजन अफेक्ट हो रहा है शेल द सिस्ट फिलाइट नीस पूरा रीजन बड़ा रीजन इफेक्ट हो रहा है सो जस्ट राइट इन रीजन मिटम ऑफिस the rocks undergo rocks undergo recrystallization rocks undergo recrystallization they undergo recrystallization due to tectonic reasons due to tectonic reasons some movement of the plate that can lead to the entire region affecting getting into metamorphism okay so this is about your types of metamorphism this one no it is your ocean floor the whole basaltic ocean floor goes down see in what is happening is if i tell you if i tell you this here okay your earth is divided into various plates okay थोड़ा सा हिंट दे रही हूँ योर दिस इज योर नॉर्थ अमेरिकन प्लेट दिस इज दी साउथ अमेरिकन प्लेट ठीक है यू हैव एफ्रीकन प्लेट यू हैव यूरेशियन प्लेट यू हैव ऑस्ट्रेलियन प्लेट ठीक है सो योर वॉट इज हैपनिंग द एंटायर अर्थ इज डिवाइडेड इन टू वेरियस प्लेट्स दिस इज नॉर्थ अमेरिका साउथ अमेरिका दिस इज पैसिफिक ओशन यू विल हियर दैट एट सम टाइम दैट द पैसिफिक ओशन इज श्रिंकिंग बट द एटलांटिक ओशन इज इंक्रीजिंग इन साइज Why is the Pacific Ocean sinking? Because the Pacific floor, that is made up of basaltic floor, is subducting, is moving down. So here the rocks they can undergo what? Undergo metamorphism, undergo change. These are the this is igneous rock. This is also igneous rock. This is andesite. This is basalt. The okay, continents are andesite. Uh, floors are ocean floors are basalt. Both of them are igneous rocks. So here it undergoes changes. this will you will call as regional metamorphism so not something sedimentary theek okay? hai we'll study plate tectonics we'll understand this much rock samajh lete hain sedimentary metamorphic and igneous rocks so this is about your sedimentary rock so write some characteristics of the metamorphic rocks yes ha it can be dynamic also but ha ncert mein thermal ke andar classify kiya hua it can be dynamic also uh, write about the characteristics of metamorphic rock first the uh, the metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks can be arranged in layers they can be arranged in layers called as 
foliation f o l i a t i o n foliation theek hai so they can be arranged in layers called as foliation here you can see this is a, a foliated rock this is a non foliated rock so you can see that they are arranged in layers but you cannot separate these layers they are not layered per se they are called as foliated they are called as foliation layers kisko bolte ho jab aap separate kar sako agar aap separate nahi kar sakte to usko aap foliation bologe theek hai so they are arranged in layers which are called as a foliation theek hai example likh lo sab some examples of metamorphic rocks are some example of metamorphic rocks are gneiss g n e i s s some example of metamorphic rocks are gneiss gneiss uh, you can see marble marble mein bhi aap layers dekhoge theek hai marble mein if you seen some marble you have dark layer uh, white layer dark layer white layer here so you can see this is also gneiss also is foliated theek hai so example of metamorphic rocks are gneiss slate example are gneiss you have example like slate this is slate yahan pe bhi dikh rahe hai foliations you have examples like phyllite this is also your metamorphic rock example hai phyllite you have example like marble theek hai inke features kya hai they are crystalline like igneous rocks they do not have fossils like igneous rocks they are not fossiliferous and they are not layered theek hai they are not layered they are banded or they are foliated so right features i'm sorry they have fossils one has sim they have fossils theek hai one is similar to igneous one is similar to sedimentary so what are the features they are they are banded they are banded or foliated they are banded or foliated but they are not layered but they are not layered second they are crystalline they are crystalline yes definitely yes i anusha bilkul ho sakta hai theek hai they are not crystal they are crystalline and they are fossiliferous they are crystalline and they are fossiliferous crystalline hai fossiliferous hai and they are banded or foliated but they are not layered layer nahi hai separate out nahi kar sakte one of you is asking me question even those metamorphic rock that have been formed by igneous will they also have banded yes they will also be banded ye jo marble hai ye bhi banded hai gneiss jo hai ye bhi banded hai gneiss bana hua hai granite se granite forms the gneiss limestone form, forms the marble so they will also be foliated they will also be foliated but you cannot separate them 